Hello, Elkhart Community Schools. Today I wanted to talk to you to let you know that at last night's board meeting, the School Board of Trustees approved that we continue with the hybrid learning plan into second semester. The board had asked that at the November board meeting we bring it back for review, and we also knew that logistically we as a district would need the next couple of months to be able to get students into the proper program and the model that they would like to have. At the plan uh, review last night, I shared with the board several reasons for us going this route. One is, is that right now the county and the city are experiencing extreme spread of the coronavirus. And in doing that, we want to ensure that we're providing the physical distance within our buildings and the space to be able to keep our students and our staff safe. We also are experiencing staffing challenges. Because of being understaffed in some areas of support services and because of a shortage of substitute teachers, we're finding that it is difficult for us to take care of all of our staffing needs in our buildings when employees are out um, because of either being quarantined or needing to take care of their own health needs. We also felt last night that in, it was important for us to be able to maintain a reliable and predictable pattern of what was happening. If we bring more students back into our buildings, we would be in a position where we would be going back and forth potentially between online and in-person. By doing the hybrid plan, we're able to ensure that we have the physical distance in our buildings, by students wearing masks, by us doing the precautions and the cleaning that we're doing, we're able to try to keep students in our buildings as much as possible. Going forward, within the next couple of days, families will receive notification to be able to register to switch between the hybrid or the online plan for next semester. If families choose to remain on the plan that they're on, they don't need to do anything in terms of registration. But if a family would like to switch from hybrid to online or from online to hybrid, they would have the opportunity to do that through a link that will be sent out to families. It's important that you consider the, the learning program that makes the most sense for your child and that if you are wanting to do the online option, do know that the requirements of that online option are that you log in at particular times and you follow a regular course of study during the day as set up by the instructor. Again, this is not like the emergency learning that we did last spring. There are requirements for attendance and completing work in order to receive a grade and to obtain high school credits. The other thing that I wanted to take a moment to say was that right now we are in a serious moment uh, within the community. Our hospitals are full. We are finding that there is a growth in our positivity rates in the district and within the city and the county. And we want to make sure that everybody is doing everything they can to ensure that students stay in school as much as possible. As we go forward over the next few weeks and we're looking at a Thanksgiving holiday and the upcoming holiday break at the winter term, we want to make sure that we remind families to do everything that you can as families and as individuals to keep our students in school. It's important that everyone wear masks. It's important that people wash their hands and importantly keep physical distance. I know that there's a temptation around the holidays and around these times to have gatherings and to be with other people and to do the things that we typically like to do. This time calls upon all of us to be thinking about those and evaluating those activities and the things that we would typically do in order to maintain that safety for those around us in the community to keep our economy open within the district and to keep our schools open to where we have students here. So in all of those regards, I want to say thank you to all of the families who've worked with us over the past months, been patient as we've worked our way through the hybrid plan, been patient regarding what's happening, regarding staffing and some of the challenges that we face there, and want to say thank you to everybody who is doing everything that you can to ensure that our students and staff are safe and that what happens within the community and impacts our schools are doing so in the minimal way that it can and that we keep everybody safe. Thank you so much.